Good news here, though. Uh, Matt was telling me that there's maybe cloudy with a chance of bacon in the forecast. Yeah. Oh, dear God. Well, the meatball price has been pretty steady, <laughs> right. so yeah. yeah, the bacon has definitely... <laughs> I knew something was coming from you, Will, when I saw that story. <laughs> we out all have kids. We've all seen the movie. <laughs> right. It's a good movie, Lena. We'll take you out. Yes. See us. Is it going to be cloudy with a chance? Uh, yeah, we're looking pretty cloudy. Listen, this week's not going to be that bad, but the problem is I can't take rain out any day because there is going to be rain on radar around, but I think most hours are dry this week. But that tropical feeling you guys love so much this time of year with your pumpkin spice lattes. Don't you just love when you're dripping sweat when you're trying to, you know, <laughs> do that? That's sticking around. No pun intended there, Will. Uh, forecast preview tomorrow morning. Scattered rain. We will see some areas of fog. Already seeing it kind of murky out there this evening. By afternoon, we will have clouds and sun. I think lots of sun outside. As you get away from the rain, we'll still have some scattered downpours out there, much like today. Today was a little bit more kind of gray overcast with the drizzle. Tomorrow, I think we'll have more sun peaks. Temperatures now still at 70. Our average highs are right around here right now. And that's a product of the thick amount of moisture we have. We measure that with several numbers. One I like best is dew point. This tells you how humid it feels on the skin, right? We're in the 60s to near 70 degrees. That's a summertime humidity. You put those two numbers together, you get how full our cup is of water. And we're talking near 100%. When you have 100% saturation in the air, that's when you get the fog and the low visibility and the drizzle. And we certainly have that, especially across the southern tier of area near the US cor uh, 30 corridor as you get down towards the south. So fog tonight, drizzle tonight, areas of rain as well. You can see how we stay in the 60s, light wind, We'll continue to kind of keep that murkiness around. You can see some of the heavier rain we talked about at the top of the broadcast. Not a lot of rain elsewhere. Radar not good at picking up the drizzle, though. And we do have that. You can see where the center circulation is with this low. Last Sunday night, I was talking about this same low. It was out in Colorado. There is nothing moving it. And you can see the smattering of showers. That will be the case tomorrow. You get the sun peaks in between. This is kind of a hodgepodge day expected tomorrow, and that will continue. Steering flow way off towards the north. You can see all the storm systems moving very quickly up in Canada. Here, though, this thing's kind of left on its own, so it's just meandering around. Uh, kind of, I was going to bring up family reunions. I won't. Love the family. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going that direction. Anyway, tomorrow morning, some fog around. You can see how we do break some of those clouds up, some sun peaks and the downpours, especially with that daytime heating they get going. Temperatures tomorrow uh, generally in the low 70s. Tomorrow night, more of the same. I do think we have a foggier setup, especially with some of the clearer skies for Tuesday morning. So keep that in mind for your Tuesday morning commute. We might have some thicker fog around here and then look, lots of sunshine Tuesday afternoon. Isolated showers possible, but I do think we stay drier on Tuesday. So the bigger picture, why do we stay drier on, on Tuesday? Well, this low pressure is going to sink down to our south very, very slowly. So Tuesday, we're not dealing with a lot of forcing in the atmosphere. I think we'll have mostly dry conditions. Wednesday, I think we start mostly dry as well. And then this whole whole thing kind of comes back at us. So that brings the rain chance back in late Wednesday. Thursday, more rain. This lows right on there. Nick, we had golf plans Thursday morning. I don't know about that, Nick. Not looking too good. That low finally gets kicked out of here this weekend. That's when we'll start to see things move again. In terms of rain, not expecting any flooding. We could use the rain, and it will add up, but slowly as we get a little bit each day as it looks right now. Humidity sticks around. You can see how we're in the humid category all the way through next weekend. The big changes arrive, I think, next week. It gets very active around here. Big ridge across the eastern half of the country. Dip out west. Why Watch what happens at the end of this. We get a huge trough out west. That will likely spin up a big snowstorm for areas of the Rockies. Not for us. We stay on the warm side, but that storm system will be the driver of perhaps a pattern change about a week from now. In terms of the next 8 to 14 days, real good chance of above the average temperatures eastern half of the country. There's your seesaw with the cooler readings out towards the west. Union Home Mortgage 7 day. We stay in the 70s pretty much all week long, which is on and off shower chances. If you had to pick a dry day, it'd be Tuesday and early Wednesday. Wednesday. Next weekend, we bring in some changes. I've got a big warm up in the forecast out ahead of that pattern change. That could change as well, but uh, looking like a pretty wow. rainy week around here, Will and Lena. Wow. So, no bacon, and this week, no golf, it looks like for Nick. Yeah, sorry. Next week, perhaps. Okay. For well, Nick. He, he's coming back. We'll hear from him next in sports. We are